Hey, we're the boys from Big Red Knives here. Um, we did a Kickstarter a few months ago, so we, we thank everyone who pledged on that Kickstarter. It went really well. New knives, Australian knives. Um, yeah, yeah, we thank you very much. If you haven't seen them, check it out. Um, yeah, and we've rolled out these six to pair with that last six. So here they are for you to see today. Uh, we've been making kitchen knives for over four years, playing with steel for a few decades. Um, and we've had numerous people come up our, our stairs um, in the shed and also communicating with us online. And the one thing that we hear uh, almost daily is, do you have a filleting knife? Do you have a boning knife? Do you have a carving knife? Uh, and we love barbecue. So four years later, we've decided to do it. In Australia, we're in the outdoors, where we, it's hot six months of the year, we're outside, kids running around outside, so we cook outside. We spend a lot of time out on our barbecues. It's a part of our culture, it's a part of what we do. Um, out back, whether it's out the back of your house, out back in the countryside, or even, you know, out the back of your unit in the hot summer nights, we cook barbecue for our family and friends. And it's just the process we have to all get together and have fun and we we just love it so we want to we made these knives for that process so we've got everything covered from start to finish and you can have more time with your family and enjoy the whole process of the barbecue cook up this is the adelaide hills we're at a mate's house on his dam this is life it doesn't get much better than this we've got the barbecue here we're gonna eat some food um we're gonna have a good day we got some golf as well yeah. We, we're going to play a bit of golf. Um, he's not so good, but I'm pretty good. So yeah. I won last time. <laughs> um, he has four kids. He has a beautiful wife and a lovely dog, and he drives around like a lunatic. This is 11 acres, not uncommon here. We've got yabbies behind us. We're going to try and throw one of them on the grill. The odd kangaroo running past. So uh, it's pretty exquisite, and we, we we don't forget how how lucky we are here in Australia. With enough work with your hands, you can probably cut just about everything with a butter knife. But we wanted to take barbecuing and outdoor eating to the next level. The first knife that we introduced into the collection, we call it the Great White Shark. Um, a lot of people know about Australia from things that Great White Sharks have done here in Australia over the years. Um, it's very similar to a Deba knife, an all-purpose knife that pretty much can do anything at the barbecue, um, and it looks like a beast. Uh, I've always loved, we, we take a long time, we redo them seven or eight times for every knife. This is the platypus. Uh, for color and for taste, we do a lot of vegetables. So this is the ultimate barbecue chopper, the platypus. We have a lot of big knives in this collection, but from time to time you need to do some intricate work. Uh, and the kookaburra, of which I have many in the backyard, um, is the perfect knife when intricacy is what you need to do. This knife here is the Tassie Devil. It will eat anything in its path, uh, which is a boning knife that we made because people want to bone their meat, good for getting in joints and just about any preparation you have for, before your meat gets on the barbecue. The fish fillet knife, we call the barramundi. Um, this has been our biggest request to make. We've finally done it. Um, took a lot of time because I wanted to get it right for all the fish shows. I've got a lot of fish show mates. Um, yeah, semi-flexible, which is what the fish shows want. So for getting over, just flexing over the bone. Um, yeah, I'm super pumped with it. It's a beautiful knife. This is the brolga. We called it the brolga because of the long beak, like the brolga bird, one of our native birds. Um, it's uh, based on a butcher's scimitar knife. It's essentially a long carver, 270 millimeters blades for, for long strokes. You don't need it. Um, you can probably get away with a shorter Gyoto, but if you pull this out when you're cutting up your barbecue, your mates are gonna go, holy moly, I wanna get my hands on that thing, cause it is bloody wicked. So that's that knife. 
If you are starting a barbecue, you actually don't need anything more than these three knives. Um, we have the cooker bar, which is the perfect knife if you're veining prawns, segmenting oranges, um, or even just chopping up sausages. So the, any intricate work, this is the blade for you. In the modern world, barbecues also have a lot of vegetables. So if you're getting a capsicum ready, um, slicing your way through onions, whatever you may want it to do, it's the perfect chopper, the perfect vegetable knife. And then the all purpose meat uh, beast, the great white, um, concludes probably a, a, a three part knife selection that will do just about everything. Okay, so here we have the butcher's barbecue collection. Now these are fairly specialised professional knives. You can make do without these knives, but you can't do what these knives can do. Um, you've got the boning knife, you've got the fillet knife, and then you've got the carver or the steak knife. Um, again, they will make your barbecue experience a better experience if you have these in your kit. Um, I have them in mine and I love every single one of them.